Hey guys, Happy New Year! I wish everyone a wonderful 2021 and thank you for supporting us in the 2020. Today we are going to make a French marigold to start our new year. This year, Christmas, I've received a book full of botanic illustrations and I saw this French marigold is beautifully drawn, so I've decided to make it alive. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our new tutorials. First of all, cut the yellow petals out according to the template. We will need about 15 each. Then we need to mix the red, yellow, and brown into a reddish brown. When we color each petal, make sure you leave the top tip uncolored. Take the paint from the bottom and bring it up. So the strongest color will remain at the bottom. Don't forget to color both sides. You see, same concept to color all the petals. After the petals are dried halfway, we add a bit of black to the mix. So you mix it into a dark brown. Add the black slowly so you don't start too dark. Then we paint the bottom two thirds of the petals with the dark brown. So the color is graduated from the bottom to the top. Do the same to all of the other petals. They should look like this. Take out a piece of 18 gauge wire and wrap it with some green flower tape. Bend a loop on the top. Gather all the dry petals, and we are going to shape them with a pair of tweezers. Gather the bottom foldings. Use the tweezers to twist the top of the petal. So they are curled. I'm using the shape of the tweezers to give the stiff petals some natural creases. There is no right or wrong, so shape as much as you want it, and shape all the petals. Now we can start putting the flowers together. Use the hot glue to attach the smallest petal to the middle. Put about four to five petals in the middle with the same height. Then the second layer can be slightly above the first layer. We add the second petals. The root of the petal should be matching with the first petals, so the flowers are not growing taller but wider. I left a few second petals for later, maybe about five to six, as long as the flower is round enough. We can move on to the next layer. Attach the third petal for a round. Then add the remaining second petals to fill some gaps and break the regularity of the petal sizes. At last, we also leave a few third petals for the final touch and attach the final layer first.
use the tweezers to pull the last two layers down so the flower looks rounder. It should look like this. Now we need to hide our glue with some bottom leaves. Cut some green bottom leaves and attach them with yuho glue. Wrap the bottom of the leaves with some flower tape. Next, we are going to make the foliage for the flower. Cut the tiny leaves according to the template. They have very small details on the leaves, so a pair of small scissors and a paper clip is very helpful. After the cutting, gather the leaves folded and tidy up the tips. We will need about 30 pieces of these little leaves. Then we need to cut the half leaves for the main stem. Cut them according to your template. Attach the half leaves with yuca glue to the wire. Use a pair of scissors to tidy up the joining point. Now we can put the foliage together with some green flower tape. They should look like this. Then we just need to simply attach everything together and we are done. Thank you for watching our video and I hope you like it. If you like it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. It will really help our channel to grow. Stay tuned for our weekly tutorials. And all our templates are available on our Etsy store. Check them out. And I wish you to have a wonderful year. See you guys next week.